This has been a decades-long journey for you to get this series finally to the screen. Seeing it in Hall H, debuting the trailer in front of the fans who are all so eagerly anticipating, what will be the kind of takeaway of this moment for you as you uh, kind of set them out to preach the gospel <laughs> of this show? It, it feels kind of right now like we've pushed down the first domino. That first domino on the domino run went down today in Hall H as real life human beings got to see little bits of Sandman, got to see the trailer, got to see what we've done. And now we're just counting down to August the 5th and people will see it. I hope they love it. I love it. I'm so proud of what we've made. I think it's Sandman. I don't think it could have been more Sandman. The cast, the crew, the production designers, every human being involved in this loves Sandman and wanted to make Sandman the television series. And we've done that. After that, it's in the lap of the gods, but I love it. What is the thing that you love more than you even expected to? You know, obviously, you, you conceptualize this and have been such an important part of the, the process of adapting it, but when now that you've gotten to the finished product, what even surprised you? Crying when I watched episode six. I did not expect... I, I'm, I'm sitting there with the finished episode watching it without even the finished visual effects and stuff done and I realized that I've got tears running down my cheeks and I'm thinking how can I be crying at something that I wrote the words to in a comic 30 something years ago how can this be emotionally moving and yet it was hugely emotionally moving for me and so that, I think, of everything, that surprised me the most, that I, I was in the audience suddenly for this thing that I'd made and made in so many different ways over the years.